so that was it for the fresh water system just basically run pink through all the uh, the you know sinks and shower heads and everything so nothing's gonna freeze in that system next thing I'm gonna do is work on the uh, the engines okay the raw water system is all about sucking water out of the river through these seacocks, there's one for each motor, one for the generator, and there's another one for the air conditioner up forward. And uh, so, you know, you can close these seacocks to stop the water from coming in, and we got to do that. So let's let's work on the uh, the starboard motor first. So let me just turn this sideways. <clears throat> so that's closed now, and then the the raw water comes up, the river water comes up through this hose and into this strainer and take the top off the strainer just loosen the loosen these up and then I can open that up like that you see there's an actual strainer in there and you see it's dirty at the bottom because uh, you know you go in shallow water you suck up a little bit of sand mud whatever so you want to clean that out so I'm going to Take that, put it, throw it in a bucket, take it up on the dock and rinse it out. Next thing I did was I built myself a little hose connection to this top, the temporary top that I can screw onto the top of that strainer. And then I'll connect this to a tank full of pink to, and then run the engine and suck the pink through instead of river water. So, let me get that all set up. All right, so this, I'm using this winterizing tank, which you can get online. And this is a five gallon tank, and I, I've had this one for a long time, so I've customized it and made some, you know, I don't know if you want to call them improvements, but you know, I replaced the hose and everything. And I like having a clear hose, because then you can see the pink getting transferred in because the last thing you want to do you know the, the the raw water pumps on the engines and everything they're driven by a rubber impeller so if you run them dry you'll wreck them and uh so you definitely don't want to uh you know you want to make sure that your connections are all tight so you're not sucking air and you want to make sure that pink's getting transferred in the engine all right so now i'm ready to start the starboard motor and watch that pink get transferred through there so let's get that I'm just gonna turn on the starboard engine so I don't make any mistakes and uh, so that should be good to go and this will only take a few seconds to transfer the pink through so we gotta wash the level in the tank make sure we don't run it dry so I'm just gonna start up this Starboard engine. Right, see the pink going through. Watch the level. Going down quick. I don't want to spill a ton into the bilge either, so I'm going to let it kind of finish. And then I'll shut it off. All right, so that starboard engine's now winterized. Let's move on to the next one. All right, I got the uh, the port motor uh, connected up to my pink tank. It's full of pink again. And, oh, by the way, I, I use a piece of string here just to tie it up because uh, when it's close to empty and you're moving the, the hose around, it gets pulled in and you spill a bunch of pink in the bilge. That's no fun, so that's what the string's about. I've got a smaller version for the generator and the air conditioner which have a smaller strainer and by the way this this black stuff this is a shelf liner for you know or you know drawer liner for kitchen counters it's kind of thick and rubbery so it made a good seal um, you know total rig <laughs> anyway time to do the generator all right so I got my generator uh, connected to 
my winter, winterization tank. And so cranked up the gen for a few seconds. Keep an eye on this level here. All right. Kind of a sweaty little little antifreeze in my on my hands and whatnot, but uh, none the worse for wear. And uh, I actually have one more thing to do before she gets put away for the winter, and that's take the canvas down and put a tarp over her because it'll probably be who knows how long before they put the shrink wrap on. So the boat will get filthy. Uh, try to keep you know keep it dry. I don't want the helm getting wet and the seats getting uh, all mildewy, whatever. So uh, you know just try to keep the boat dry in the process. So uh, that's next. But for now, I'm going home. It's about noon or so. That took a couple hours to do, and uh, you know I'm all set. I you know tend not to trust other people to do this kind of work for me because if they forget. Uh, you know, then in the spring you got something that froze and broke and, you know, maybe you can't go boating in, until it gets fixed and, you know, uh, mechanics are busy in the spring. So, uh, you know, I just do, learned to do this myself. Been doing it for 20 years. All right. See you soon. So maybe in the spring. Hope you like this video and subscribe for more from My Boat Life.